Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following three-dimensional trigonometry questions. Please don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. In the diagram below, T is a hook on the ceiling of an art gallery. Points Q, S and R are on the same horizontal plane from where three people are observing the hook T. The angle of elevation from Q to T is X. We've been told that the angle QSR is 90 degrees plus X. QRS is X. The line QR is 5 units and the line TS is equal to the line SQ. Starting with the first part of the question that says, prove that the line QS is equal to 5 tan X. Looking at the diagram, the triangle I'm going to use is the one highlighted and I'm going to draw out a rough sketch as shown. Such that I have my Q at angle at S that's 90 degrees plus X. I have my R and the angle at R is X. Using the sign rule, the sign rule states that Starting from the side QS, if I have QS divided by the sine of the angle facing the side QS, that sine by R is equal to the ratio of the side QR divided by the angle, the sine of the angle facing my QR, that sine 90 degrees plus X. If I fill in the parameters, or oh, I'm going to write that as sine x, then I'm going to substitute in the next step. Filling in the parameters, I have qs divided by sine r, that's sine x, equals the side qr, 5 units, divided by, now I'm going to put in the angle, 90 plus x. Using the core function, for sine 90 plus x, simplifying further, I have that as qs over sine x equals 5 over cos x. If I cross multiply, what I'm going to have is qs multiplying cos x equals 5 multiplying sine x. And to find qs, I'm going to divide both sides by cos x. Whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. I'm going to have cos x and cos x1. Therefore, I have qs equals. And if you look at the right hand side, I'm going to use the trig identity that states that tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. In this case, my theta is x as shown. So therefore, on the other side, I have that as 5 tan x. So therefore, I've been able to prove that the line qs is equal to 5 tan x. Let's look at the second part of the question. We have to prove that the length of QT is equal to 10 sine x. So the triangle I'm using in this case will be the triangle alighted as shown. And if I draw a quick sketch, I have not that we've been told that the line TS is equal to the line SQ. And that makes that triangle an isosceles triangle. Going by the properties of an isosceles triangle, the two sides are equal. So I have... TS also equal to 510 X and also the base angles are equal so I have the angle at T equals to X so therefore using my sine rule again I have the ratio of the side QT divided by the sine of the angle facing QT note that because the base angles are the same to find the third angle, the sum of angles in the triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, the angle at S will be 
180 degrees minus x plus x, that's 2x, equals, I have the side QS, QS in this case is 5 tan x divided by sine t, that will be sine x. Therefore, I'm going to put this in a bracket to show that it's one angle. From here, I'm going to show you how to use the cast diagram to find the value of sine 180 degrees minus 2x. And that's in the cast diagram. I have C, A, S, and T. This is theta. 180 degrees minus theta, I have that as 180 plus theta, 360 minus theta. If you look at the angle sine 180 minus 2x, it falls in the third, in the second quadrant as shown, and the value of sine is positive. So therefore, if I rewrite my expression, I have that as qt over sine 2x equals 5 tan x divided by sine x. So because I've been able to reduce my sine 180 minus 2x to sine 2x, the next step is to cross multiply. And what I have is qt multiplying sine x equals 5 tan x multiplying sine 2x. Dividing both sides by sine x, whatever you do on your left, you do on your right, I have sine x divided by sine x that goes off. I'm left with the line qt equal 5 tan x. Now on my right hand side, I'm going to change my sine 2x using my double angle identity. I have that as, I'm going to clean this up quickly, sine 2 theta equals to 2 sine theta cos theta. In this case, my theta will be my x. And also the second identity I will be using is my tan theta equals to sine theta over cos theta. So therefore going back to my equation, I'm going to change my sine to x using the double angle identity. That will be 2 sine x cos x all divided by sine x. So I have sine x going into sine x. Then I'm going to change my tan x into sine x over cos x. So I have qt. At this stage, I'm just simplifying using all my identities. So I'm changing tan x into sine x over cos x times 2 multiplying cos x. Right now I have cos x into cos x, that's 1, therefore the line qt equals 5 times 2, that's 10 sine x. And if you look at the question, we had been able to prove that the length qt equals 10 sine x. Let's look at the third part of the question. So the last part says, calculate the area of triangle TQR if TQR is 70 degrees and the value of angle X is 25 degrees. So I'm going to redraw the triangle as shown. I have T, Q and R. We've been able to show that the line QT is 10 sine X. We know that QR is 5 units. Then from the question, the angle TQR is 70. So we have it as 70 degrees. So therefore, the 
area of triangle TQR equals half times I'm going to use the lines subtending the angle given so that is QT times QR sine the angle that's sine Q so therefore slotting in the parameters I have that as half times QT that's 10 sine X we've been told that X is 25 degrees so I have that as 25 degrees times QR that's 5 units times sine Q that's sine 70 degrees and if I punch that in I'm going to have that as to 2 decimal point 9.93 square units. Thanks for watching. Bye.